Hello Queens and welcome back for another tutorial. Today we will be using UB Naturals Botanical Collection and you guys they reached out to me and they asked if I would love to review this collection for you guys and I absolutely said yes and I'm glad I did because I have fallen in love. So you guys we are going to be using only several products in this one tutorial and then I'll have to come back with a second part but without further ado let's go right ahead and get into this review and demo. So for this product review today, you guys, I'm actually going to be using several new products and per usual, I'm pre pooing and I will be using the Burr Almond Gold Hair Oil. You can find this at an Indian supermarket and you guys, this is an amazing oil to use along with my Jamaican Black Castor Oil that I use for a hot oil treatment, which you will see me using shortly. And we're simply just going to apply the Jamaican Black Castor Oil directly to the scalp. You guys know this. And I'm just simply going to go ahead and begin massaging it into my scalp. And don't forget about those edges. And as you guys can see, the right side is still struggling. So I'm still working on that journey. But back to the review. So now we're going to be applying the amla gold hair oil and you guys a little bit goes a long way this oil is very inexpensive we only paid $3.99 a bottle at the Indian supermarket and it smells so good so if you use products with amla oil then you're already familiar with how this product actually works now we're going to detangle with our texture pro detangler brush you guys know this is bay and then we're simply going to go ahead and begin creating our two strand twist Once you've created your two strand twist, we're gonna move right along into the shower. And you guys know I love to do my hair in the shower. It's just easier that way for me. And we're gonna begin by just fully saturating the hair. Now, as far as the amla oil, I have been using it for almost two weeks now. And I have noticed a significant difference in how my hair actually reacts to water. It's just simply how it reacts to any product, period. My hair has been so soft. So you will see in this tutorial that my hair may not look as defined but my hair is just very 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 soft so now that my hair is fully saturated with water we're going to be moving right along to use the botanical tangle me knot detangling shampoo and when it says it's a tangle me knot detangling shampoo that is exactly what it does and again a little goes a long way you guys know I don't shampoo too often but as of lately I have been so that is another good thing in my natural hair regimen for you guys and we're just going to simply focus on the scalp and as you guys can see my hair is not shrinking up whatsoever in this clip you guys my camera lens was foggy so I do apologize but I wanted to make sure I share with you guys how the product was actually working on my hair and when I tell you my hair was so clean as well as my scalp this shampoo is off the chain and I don't say that too often about a shampoo so now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and begin rinsing our hair. And as you guys can see, my hair still isn't shrunken. You can see that my curls are popping because they're under the water. And also too, while I'm in the shower, I only rinse my hair with almost, it's my, the water is almost cool. It really isn't even lukewarm. So we're just gonna make sure we focus on our scalp again to get any kind of product or debris off as well as the shampoo. And then as you guys can see, this is what my hair looks like after it's been freshly washed. My hair has never looked like this after using the shampoo, so I was very impressed and I love that shampoo. Now moving along to the three-in-one co-wash cleansing conditioner, you guys. Um, this cleansing conditioner, you can use it as a detangler, you can use it as a co-wash, or you can use it as a rinse out conditioner you cannot be a product that's three in one versus one that is a two in one so as you guys can see this product is just melting into my hair like butter i love it look at that slip i didn't have any problems with detangling my hair like if i used the tool it was just because i just decided to when i really didn't have to but look at my curls just look at how they're clumping up together and just that product is amazing like that three in one conditioner if you don't get anything else, definitely get that 3-in-1 conditioner. But you guys, I loved everything that I'm using today here in this video for you guys. And as you guys can see, I'm loving it because I'm smiling so hard. But we're going to continue to work this in and then I'm just going to create my two-strand twist. So 
So after using the Tangle Me Not shampoo and the 3-in-1 co-wash conditioner, you guys, I am really loving this duo. Like I could use this again and again and again. Like it's just that freaking good. So moving on along towards the back, you guys know I like to show you how the product works on the front versus the back of my hair because of the two different hair textures. And so as you guys can see, my hair is still steadily growing. And we're now gonna go in using the three-in-one um, cleansing conditioner. I had already went in with the shampoo. And as you guys can see in the back, my, again, my curls are clumping up. My hair is just so soft and it's just been shiny all week long. Like I haven't had to do really anything to my hair after this wash day, you guys. So so we're just going to continue to work this in to just make sure that every strand is fully coated and i'm telling you guys this product contains jojoba oil and you guys know that is like one of my top favorite oils to use for natural hair so jojoba oil i'm telling you guys it's another miracle oil that i just simply love so once we're done in the shower we're going to get out and this is what my hair looks like after using the shampoo and the conditioner it is very soft you can see it's not really shrunken per se but my hair is just very light and fluffy so now we're going to be using the botanical um deep moisturizing and softening mayonnaise conditioner you guys and again this contains argon olive and carrot oil if you ever use a hair mayonnaise growing up it typically has some form of herbs in it but you guys this took it way back i mean way back and i haven't used a hair mayonnaise like this since i was a little girl and this deep conditioner melts into the hair like butter i love it i just love the fact that everything just seems to just melt into the hair whether it's the shampoo the three-in-one conditioner and even now with the deep conditioner like it was like ba bomb like i will continue to repurchase this hair mask like definitely especially this mayonnaise mask i typically stray away from those because I don't know, I just hadn't used them in a while, but now I have fallen in love again and I will definitely be repurchasing this deep conditioner because you guys know I'm a deep conditioner junkie. And yeah, so we're just gonna put that back into a two strand twist and I'm, I'm just going to continue this process on the rest of my head. Okay, so now once we've actually applied all of the deep conditioner onto all four sections, we're gonna apply our shower cap and then I'm going to follow that with my turby twist. You guys know I love this. I use this every time I deep condition, it's just bay. And then after deep conditioning for about 30 minutes to an hour, um, we're gonna move right on ahead into the set and style process. Okay, you guys, so now set and styling time. So we are going to be using the Botanical Moisture Lock Curl Lotion. You guys, I love this lotion and it is a, um, a very lightweight leave-in conditioner, just to let you guys know. We're gonna follow that using my castor oil. And then we are going to use the Botanical Soft Curls Curling Cream. So starting off in the back, you guys, I've already gone ahead and started on this process and I'm just going ahead and applying the castor oil. I've already applied the curl lotion and we're gonna use the detangler brush to actually make sure that the product is applied on every strand. And the reason why I stated previously that the curl lotion is a lightweight lotion because as you guys can see, my hair looks very light and fluffy. It doesn't look like it's weighed down. So it's not necessarily a heavy, um, 
leave-in conditioner so if you're wanting a heavy leave-in conditioner i wouldn't recommend this type of leave-in conditioner but as you guys can see i'm just spraying a little bit more water to help activate it because again typically when i use products they're a lot heavier for when i'm setting and styling but for this video i was still pleased with the results after using the botanical bliss collection so now we're going to be going in with the actual curling styling cream you guys I'm sorry I just forgot the name I just drew a blank and we're going to apply this on top and we're just going to work this in I typically do the praying hand method and then I'll follow that by doing the actual shingling method to just make sure that the product is on every hair strand so that way each product can actually clump up on itself. And then again, I'm just going to follow that doing the shingling method. All right, you guys, and this is what the back looks like. As you guys can see, my hair has started to shrink up some. Again, it is very big and bouncy and light. Like I must say my hair has been very, very light since using this collection. And I love it, even though the definition wasn't as defined as I usually expect for it to be, I still had definition throughout the week once my hair fully dried. So we're just gonna continue this on towards the front. You guys, I'm sorry about the lighting. I look very, very orange on this scene. I don't know why, but we're gonna go in with the curl lotion and then we're simply gonna follow that by using some more of the castor oil. And then afterwards, we're gonna detangle. And then once again, we're gonna go in with the curl styling cream. And again, the one that I use was for soft curls. The other one that I received was for actually tightly coiled hair. So I don't know if I will come back with another wash and go review using that curling cream. So that way we can see the difference, but I will definitely let you guys know. And then after that, we're gonna go in with some more of the curl defining cream and work that in. And then we're going to begin doing the shingling method and as you guys can see like my hair texture in the front is completely different than the one in the back it's more of a kinky texture versus in the back where it's a little bit more lengthy but a wave or s curl type of pattern i always have to worry about the two different um patterns when doing a wash and go but for the most part when it dries i always love the results that's never been an issue for me um, it's just always just trying to make sure that I apply the product on there enough to get the desired results. And that is pretty much it for this review, you guys. So once my hair is completely done, this is what it looks like. Now my hair was not dry here, but I loved how it looked. It was just a big, lightweight, curly fro. And the definition once it did fully dry was phenomenal. I wore it like that for like three or four days. And then I refreshed it using their um, curl definer and spray refresher. And then some more of the curl defining cream. So thank you to UB Natural for sending me their entire collection for a review for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Follow us on your favorite social media platforms. And I'll see you guys in my next upload. Be blessed, queens.